I wanted to simmer chickpeas for more than, let's say, 30 minutes. I, I went with this. I went with a um, one-hour simmer, one- or two-hour simmer. And so I wanted a long-term, yeah, this was about right at two hours of simmering, these chickpeas. And so these chickpeas are sprouted chickpeas. And I wanted to try to get closer to the texture of the chickpeas that I experienced the day before during Diwali, um, D-I-W-A-L-I, Diwali. So on, on the occasion of Diwali, which my phone showed me, oh, it's Diwali. I said, let me get some China masala from an Indian restaurant. So I went to Sizzler, S-I-Z-Z-L-E-R, and I got some China masala, and they never disappoint with the China masala. It's uh, absolutely off the chain. So, but, I, but because I've been using my own chickpeas here recently in what I've been making, I've noticed a difference in texture. So I was like, um, I prefer the texture that, they've, that they put out. And I'm like, okay, let me see if I can uh, do a little bit better on this uh, when I'm making chickpeas normally. And so it's like, um, anyway, so these are leaves that I've, I've cut into strips. And like I said in my uh, other videos prior to this, I prefer the strips over the whole leaves because uh, I like the texture better. And then this is the base of broccoli sprouts and power, Walmart power greens. So was those other strips. I, I cut those manually. Uh, but I got some green onions in here. And then I'm going to um, put basically some vegetables on this, right? That's going to help activate these in terms of heat, residual heat, right? And that's going to add to the flavor, the overall flavor texture of the overall meal. And basically build the flavor in layers, right? But also keep the greens intact from a nutrition standpoint. And then I'm going to put these strips of leaves on top of this, right? So the residual heat from these vegetables in their heated state would then rise up into these green leaves and get so the leaves on the bottom, they're whole leaves, right? They're not cut into strips. These are cut into strips. They're still going to have the same health benefit as the whole leaves, but they're going to be easier to consume in terms of either a fork or a spoon, right? And then I put a lid over this so that the heat is, is trapped in. But again, there's not so much heat in circulation that it uh, will cause an issue, right? And so then I put the chickpeas on top because the simmering is done, and I dusted them with Himalayan pink salt in just such a quantity that um, it's going to dissolve, right, because you want it to dissolve. And then I'm going to partially mix the ingredients, right, so that there's time for the salt to distribute, but also for the heat to distribute throughout the ingredients and get some of those whole leaves um, a little bit more activated. And so that's the basic process here on the ultimate vegan dish preparation style. And I hope you enjoyed this journey, this culinary journey, as much as I enjoyed uh, consuming the meal. And I hope you find this well. Thank you.